Assalamualaikum and hi guys. We are still in chapter 4. So today we will continue with boost converter design. To design a boost converter, some consideration must be made just like the one in the bulk converter. So first, we need to assume that the circuit is using an ideal components. Next, the selection of the switching frequency. So normally, the switching frequency is set larger than 20 kHz to avoid acoustic or audio noise and to reduce the size of the inductor as well as the capacitor. But there's always a trade-off in selecting the switching frequencies. So if you still remember in our previous lesson, if the switching frequency is high, the switching losses will also increase, thus heat will be produced. And as a result, the efficiency of the converter will be decreased. Okay, and finally, the selection of the inductor value. So to ensure a continuous current mode or CCM, we can set L 25% larger than L min. Okay, now let's try this example. So the question asks to design a boost converter to provide an output voltage of 50 volt with a voltage ripple less than 1.5%. If the input voltage is 24 volt and the power supplied to the load is 48 watt, specify the switching frequency, the duty ratio, the value of the inductor and the capacitor. So this is the circuit for the boost converter. So how can we solve this problem? First, we need to specify the switching frequency. To specify the switching frequency, remember that the switching frequency must be larger than 20 kHz to avoid audio noise. Thus, let's choose 40 kHz as our switching frequency so it will not be too high or too low. Next, for the duty ratio, it is given by D equal to 1 minus Vs over V out. So, we will get D equal to 0 0.52. To find the value of the inductor, we need to calculate the L mean first. So, L mean is given by this formula. But we have a problem here since R is not given. So how can we calculate the R? What can we use? So as the power is given, R can be calculated using V out square over P. And finally, we will get R equal to 52.08 ohm. So substituting... R value into this equation, we will get L mean equal to 78 micro Henry. Only then we can calculate the value of the inductor where L is given by 1.25 L mean. So, Finally, we will get the inductor value of 97.5 micro Henry. Finally, to calculate the value of the capacitor, we can use this formula where R here is a voltage ripple or the ripple factor of 1.5% or 0.015. So, we will get C equal to 16.5. 64 micro farad okay so that's it for the boost converter design i hope you can try another examples given in the slide okay so with that i thank you for listening bye